What's the haps, folks? This is Professor App here with a Let's Play of Pentiment. Last time we continued our life in Europe, and we spent a bit more time at the Abbey and working on um, Andreas's masterpiece at the, the Scriptorium. And while we were there, we uh, ended up having a very heated conversation with uh, Baron Rothvogel and uh, Prior Thering. Mostly about, uh, first of all, that uh, Brother Piero wasn't working at, uh, at the speed that uh, the Baron wanted him to, and so he wanted Andreas to finish off the work, and obviously, you know, me being me, I wanted to, you know, not upset the Baron. I decided to, you know, take on the work, and Prior Ferenc believed that uh, somehow I planned that all along was trying to make everyone look stupid. Then after that, I was invited to have a uh, dinner with the Baron and also the other uh, members of the Abbey, and while we were there, um, the Baron decided to, like, really sour the mood by, um, by talking about the uh, about uh, Martin Luther's ideas for the church, which really not sit well with uh, the father, Father Gernot, he did not like that at all. And basically after all that, I decided to uh, leave while the rest of them spoke amongst themselves to decide what to do, and so I decided to head home and uh, go, back to, go back to sleep. On the way there, I also had this very strange encounter with a uh, woman who uh, apparently has, has visions of God, so she's been kept in the church for over ten years. And she's actually been imprisoned there, and like, Father Thomas like gives her food and stuff every now and then. So yeah, the, I mean, it looks like the Baron is a pretty awful person, but the church doesn't seem that much better either. You know, it's like Andreas and some of the brothers are the only, like Brother Piero really, are the only real good people involved at the church. I also managed to uh, hand off the other uh, money to uh, Clara, you know, so they can pay their taxes as soon as that was one mission cleared. Uh, because of what's happened now is that uh, it's, there's been like a major flood and a lot of uh, animals have escaped from the farm, so people are having to sort that out. And I'm heading back up to uh, the back up to the church to sort to begin my work at the scriptorium again. And I also found out that uh, there are actually a lot of um, like other missions I didn't even know I had. Like there's one I was talking to a uh, Martin because I wasn't friendly with him enough. He uh, he decided to not uh, you know to just be rude to me again as he ran off. And then it seems like he stole some of the other uh, Baron's uh, jewelry and also the book he was going to give to the Abbey. So I need to maybe just track down Martin at some point. I also managed to I also failed to ma to uh, win over the Baron's favor because I did two things that uh, didn't he didn't like mainly that I turned down his offer for supper even though I went anyway and I didn't engage in the debate that he asked for. So again, it's like I just maybe I need to be a bit careful about what I say if I want to try and like, win someone's uh, favor over. Especially since I, you know it doesn't really keep track of like uh, who like the progress of it, but I just need to be a bit careful about that going forward. I think. I'm thinking that's what it means by this will be remembered, is that um, either a positive or a negative response that'll come into play much later on down the line. And yeah, I just I just get the feeling that something's about to kick off now. I mean, it is a fourth episode, so hopefully things will be kicking off now. It has still been a fairly slow at the moment, but I suppose that's something we can look forward to in a minute, so uh, why don't we get started and see what's in store for us. Okay, yeah, so I'm just outside the scriptorium. Let's just have a quick look around here. Is there anything here? Nothing around here, is there? What's this on the thing? What is this? A Volvel? I've seen these before in astronomy and medical tracts. What's this one for? Two wheels. The top wheel has Greek letters and holes cut out to reveal Latin letters underneath. And the outer edge of the lower wheel is divided into four sections, each bearing an elemental symbol. It's so like wind, water, fire, and earth, is it? It looks like the lines between the holes form constellations. I think they do anyway. And a quarter turn of the upper disc assigns a different elemental symbol with the top of that lower disc. Oh yeah, this will come in handy. Given the number of letters and the size of the discs, there's enough space for a total of four versions of the Latin alphabet. I wonder what it's for? A cipher of some sort? I need to investigate more. This has to be connected to something else around here. Oh, interesting. So there is something else I can look at. Let's really grab it again. Can I take it or not? Okay, right, so I don't have, it, don't have what I need just yet. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there are actually things I can look at here, so maybe there's something else I need to look at before uh, before do having a look there. Nothing about it in the journal, though, so that's interesting. Must be, I must say, there's probably a lot to, lot to explore here, so maybe it'll be quite difficult for me to find it. 
Let's just head into the scriptorium. Oh, is Piero not here? Oh, this is wonderful. The rest of the abbey is soaked and there's not a drop of rain in here. Good thing the abbot had Otto replace the roof to the scriptorium and library last month. With the calefactory next door, we can stay warm while everyone else is cold and wet. Well, aren't you pleasant, eh, brother guy? Um, let's check the other, uh, this one again. Calefactory. A communal warming room in monasteries. Calefactories are usually attached to the cloister, but in Kearsau it is part of the old abbey, and therefore connected to the old scriptorium. It keeps the monks warm and the library dry. Instead of bragging about our good fortune, you should think upon your brothers and sisters and pray for their health and safety. You know, he's got a point there. Let's go with this one. The abbot's foresight saved a lot of our work and protected what's in the library. The town hasn't fared as well. I'm sure they'll be fine. More importantly, if they're not, I don't care. Of course you don't. Brother Guy, your heart is harder than the stone of this floor. Huh. We have the grumpy old monk, but where's the nice one? Brother Piero? Haven't you seen him yet today? Oh, is he dead, maybe? I did, but b before Brother Guy arrived, Brother Piero left to speak to the abbot some time ago. What? Why is Matthew ringing the bell? Can't, it can't be Tercy already. I pray it stops soon. Such a cacophony is an assault on my frail ears. It's not stopping. I suppose this means we are being summoned to the chapter house. God, give me the strength to endure the rain. It's 50 feet, old man. You'll live. God, give me the strength to endure this man. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's really annoying to be around, isn't he? Do I need to go as well? Or am I I'll just carry on with what I'm doing in a moment? It's still not stopping. What's going on? This can't all be because of the storm. I should see what's the matter. I just quickly check, is there anything else in here I can look at? Hmm, I wonder what Prior Ferenc was doing with this book. Oh, can I have a look at it? I can look at this. From the library of the University of Five Churches. The Hungarians call it Pex. Hmm. That's where Ferenc is from. Doctor of Theology George of Gran. Hmm. Did he steal it? I wonder. Hmm. Interesting. A friend of his? Um. Ah, the Speculum Astronomi, Albert, Albertus Magnus' Defense of Astrology. Albertus Magnus, renowned 13th century Dominican theologian, philosopher, astrologer, and bishop of Regensburg. A prolific writer, he was known primarily for his work on Aristotle and his knowledge of natural science. Sloppy Bookhand, couldn't have been produced by an abbey of note. Oh, lots of notes around there, see? That's definitely Farring's handwriting between the lines and in the margins. Is he notating the text for his personal use? In any case, it's a thorough commentary. Oh, hang on, these are Latin symbols, aren't they? What's this? It looks scribbled, not like not like Farring to be so sloppy. And he didn't even let, he didn't even block the ink dry. Libra, Capricorn, Aries, all astrological symbols. What's written below? Hmm. Maybe I should have learned Greek at some point. I can't make any sense of this. Wait, the Volvo I found also has Greek letters on it. It must be connected, but how? The outer ring of the Volvo is marked with alchemical symbols, but this cipher has astrological symbols. There's something I'm missing. I suppose I'll figure it out in due time. I'll copy this down now to reference it later. Okay, that's interesting. I can't interact with that now, okay? Anything else in here? 
mean, that was lucky. I mean, maybe but it seems like I'm not. I haven't got the full piece, uh, full, you know, the full picture just yet. So just head back, see what happens. If... That sounded like a scream coming from the cloister. Oh, someone's dead, isn't it? I'm guessing it's going to be either Piero or the Baron. That's what I'm thinking. I still don't know how to connect the elemental symbols on the Volvel with the astrological symbols or the cipher. Until I figure out the connection, I can't decipher the note I found in Ferenc's book. I mean, there are some Greek letters there, aren't there? Like, there's the uh, there's Omega, and there's the there's that there's Psi, I think, something like that. And Theta, is that not on the chart? If I could find some way into the library, I'm not sure there's a book I could use to figure this out. Sister Illuminata is in there most of the day. Perhaps I can find a way in after dark. And if all else fails, perhaps I could ask where Werner Stolls. He lives off the off of the north off of the North Commons. Okay, right, so maybe we can either sneak in after dark, or I can speak to him. See if he knows. I have a sense he doesn't like me much, but I'll find a way to get the information out of him. Has that been added to my uh has that been added to the uh, the journal? Brother Matthew rang the church bells early, and now one of the sisters is screaming in the chapter house. I should go and see what's happening. No, it's still not been added to the journal. I just need to remember this, you know, the next time I'm here. So I guess I need to try the sneak into the library after dark, or I can speak to that person there, Vernon, I think his name was. I remember Sister Illuminator saying that there was like a... Uh, like a secret passage into the library, wasn't there? Maybe he's trying to find a way in. Let's see if we can find a way in. Go through... Is it this way? Let me have a look. So I can go this way. Oh, that just leads to the church. Oh, it's locked. The sacristy's locked, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't go there. Yeah, Dr. Werner Stolls, that's who I'm looking for. Town physician of Tassing. Originally from Lower City, known for his unpleasant manner. Apparently he doesn't like me, so I need to be a bit careful. Maybe I shouldn't uh, go and see him. Yeah, that's where he lives. Verne, he lives in the northern part of Tassing. Can't go to the tower. and goes to the crypt, though. The foundations of the abbey were built when the Romans occupied this land, not long after the death of Christ. These two markers go back centuries, all the way to the founding of the abbey. Abbot Dietrich, from the heights of Kearsau's power in the 40, 41st century, the no, 14th century, I was going to say 41st, that makes sense. What's this here? Oh! A lovely relief for the virgin and child. Shame it's hidden down here. There's a key there. That was it! Now what? Oh, there's the secret passage to the library, I see. I mean, Sister Illuminator's probably in there, isn't she? So is it a good idea for me to go in here? Hmm, I wonder. A secret entrance to the library. I'll have to remember this. Right, yes, yeah, so I'll need to I'll probably need to wait till after dark when Sister Illuminator's not not here. And then I can sneak in this way to get into the library. Yeah, I need to be careful because you know I obviously can't go in there because otherwise she'll see me. But I'll need to make a note of that. So it goes to the crypt after dark and then I can go into the library and find a book there. That's coming from just down the hall. Maybe the chapter house. I think those screams are coming from the chapter house. Okay. I think something terrible has happened, Master Andreas. Chapter house is here. Okay, who's dead? The Baron, I'm guessing. Oh my god, yeah, it's the Baron. Yeah, the Baron's dead, isn't he? I, th I thought he, I thought he was going to die. So now we've got like quite a few suspects who want him dead, who wants to kill him. So maybe it looks like yeah, we have to try and work out who it was. 
Uh, let's just remain silent for now. Please, Father, where is Brother Florian? Have him come quickly. Be silent, Brother. Brother Florian, if you please. He's got quite skinny arms. Yeah, he's been stabbed, hasn't he? Okay, what should I give to him? I'm sorry, Father. There's nothing to be done. He's dead. Scream you. <laughs> Sister Marguerite, calm yourself. Sister Gertrude, please take Sister Marguerite back to the garden. Yes, Mother Cecilia. It's Matthew. God protect us. The Baron is was a friend of the Prince Bishop of Fres at Freising. Why is he so worried about the Prince Bishop? Because he thinks someone, you know, want, someone here killed him. <gasps> this abbey is ours in more than one way. Its existence offends some in the church. We are far enough from Rome and Mainz that everyone forgets about us. But this could bring on one's detention. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Florian, how easily do you think you could dispose of this body? Just, you know, trying to cover it up or something. Is that what he's trying to say? Father Abbot, what are you saying? Why are you questioning me? Why are you wasting precious time? Do you want to see the soldiers of the Prince Bishop march up our steps and fling your brothers and sisters out of our home? We're all shouting. Silence! Quiet! Calm yourselves, all of you. Father Abbot, Baron Rothvogel's manservant is already preparing to leave. The Baron's wife should be here in a matter of hours. This is not the time for kept for rash decisions. Yes, yes, you're right. Forgive me. But then, what will we do? We must send the Baron's man to the court of the Prince Bishop in Frising at once. Mother Cecilia... The Baron said the Prince Bishop's arch Archdeacon was in Innsbruck for the Imperial Diet. Even better, swift action will silence any whispers of impropriety on our part. Given the Baron's stature, the Archdeacon will undoubtedly come to investigate immediately. We must cooperate with him fully and pray for a speedy resolution. Yes, yes, good. Thank you, Mother Cecilia. Um, how do you pronounce that name? Is it Wos 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 Woslaw something? Or Voslaw or something? Brother Wos Voslaw, please detain Brother Piero in the cellar until the Prince Bishop's man arrives. Oh, they think Piero did it. What? Brother Piero? Why? Father Gernot, I implore you to reconsider. He was caught in the infrangante delecto. Let me just check the lies again. In flagrante delict delicto, in blazing offence, indicating an individual has been caught in the act of committing a crime, okay? He was caught in, flagra in flagrante delicto, covered in blood with a knife in his hand. Father, do you, do you really believe that Brother Piero is capable of such a foul deed? He's trying to have spin it like he has a motive you know, for, for you know, upsetting him yesterday. Yes, capable enough when, when motivated by anger. I had no anger against the Baron Father Abbot. I simply came across I simply came across him like this. No anger? Not even for insulting your work and forcing us to give it to Andreas? This is not a subject for debate. When the Prince Bishop's man arrives, we must not be empty handed. Um yeah, maybe you should try, he's not physically capable. Even if Piero wants to kill the Baron, he's not physically capable of the act. He can barely hold a brush, much less plunge a knife into a man's body. Be quiet! This is not your affair. It is my... yeah, I'll go with this one here. It is my affair if you're going to make me part of Brother Piero's supposed motive. I'm through debating with you. My decision stands. 
Brother Washlav, Moslav, will detain Brother Piero in the cellar until I say otherwise. Brother Florian, please escort Andreas out of the abbey. Andreas, do not show your face here again until tomorrow. Do you understand me? Yes. What am I going to do for the rest of the day then? Andreas, listen to me. I sympathise with you. I don't think Piero did this either, but this isn't the time to push the abbot. I'm sure the other brothers and sisters believe Piero is innocent as well, but the abbot is worried about the Prince Bishop's attention. If you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Take a few hours to calm your nerves and your mind. You need to think clearly. Go to the Druckers, eat a good meal, and come back at Gnomes. Monastic hour corresponding to 3pm. One of the little hours of prayer. We won't have much time, but tap on my window with a small stone and I'll let you in. Let me in for what? To examine the body. Oh, he's going to let me investigate, is he? Okay, sext time to eat. Florian mandated dinner. I should follow Florian's advice and go to the droppers. Hopefully it will clear my head. Uh, let me just check the journal. The brothers and sisters discovered Lorenz murdered in the chapter house. Brother Piero kneeling nearby with a bloody knife. I can't make sense of it. Is that everything? Uh, yep, lots of things. Can I try going back in? Let's see what happens if I try going back in. Oh, he's not going to let me. No, I can't. Can I go, like, into uh, the Covent Garden? The Covent Garden, rather. So I can go in for some reason. Oh, well, that's it. oh well, the Mother Cecilia's here. She's gonna say the same thing. Maybe I should try this. I need to talk to you again about the Baron, how you walked away with the sisters when he arrived. Given that the Baron was just murdered, it seems worth inquiring about the cause. Why? Do you not trust in the abbot's judgment? It is not the abbot's judgment that matters, but the archdeacon's. All too true, but you must proceed carefully in your inquiries. The abbot does not want anything to interfere with the archdeacon's investigation. That includes you. Then help me. Help you what? Blame someone else for the murder? Yeah, help me find justice. What does justice look like, Andreas? This is not a, Socrat a Socratic exercise, Mother Cecilia. And you are not Thras are you are not Thrasymachus, Thrasymachus, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Thrasymachus, a sophist of ancient Greece who debated with Socrates on the nature of justice in Plato's Republic. Fair point. Someone will die for this murder, Andreas. If it is not Brother Piero, it will be someone else. The killing of a powerful noble cannot go unpunished, especially while he was under the protection of the abbot. Then help me find who did before the Archdeacon arrives. I am simply a nun. Why do you think I can help you? Yeah, I saw how you reacted when the Baron arrived. You must know something about what's going on. All right. I did have reason to be concerned about Baron Rothvogel's presence. The Baron caused irre irreparable harm to one of the sisters on his last visit. Yeah, I can imagine. The damage was severe enough that she had to leave us for some time. I mean, I can, I can imagine what kind of harm he've inflicted on her, so I think I can just say nothing. That is why I removed the sisters from his presence as soon as I could. Uh, are there any who may have wanted revenge? I cannot know what is in a person's heart, Andreas. Can I at least speak to the sister who was harmed? 
I... No, Andreas. I don't think that would be appropriate. Alright, this doesn't help me much if I don't know what happens or to whom. I understand that this is less information than you likely wanted, but I do not think I can tell you any more in good conscience. Trust me when I say that the victim of this incident could not have killed the Baron. I need more than that. Are there any records on her? Or what happened? Yes, we keep records on all the sisters in the library. Not that it does you any good. You're not allowed. Could I ask Sister Illuminas to see them? She won't give them to you. Our records aren't available for of our outsiders to look through. I'll just have to go and get them myself. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell her that! Sister Illuminata told me there's a secret entrance into the library. Oh? And do you know where it is? Don't, don't say it! Yes, I found it while exploring the crypt. Why'd you say that? Don't try it. You'll be caught and you'd be lucky if the abbot only banished you from the abbey until Judgment Day. Yes, you're pro- Ah, you're probably right. God bless you, Mother Cecilia. May God bless you, Andreas Mailer. Probably shouldn't have told that to her, Andreas. Oh well, uh, right, let's, uh, let's head out. She's not trying to stop me or anything, she's just trying to discourage me. Right, well, I guess I'll just, uh, head out then. I'm guessing they'll make it maybe think that Martin might have been a suspect as well, because he stole from the Baron. So maybe that's one thing I'll have to inquire about whether... He, I don't I probably don't think it will be him, probably someone else, but I'm guessing that's partly what I'll have to look into about what Martin was up to. What's this here? Oh, Baron, what's this? A letter to the Baron from Prior Ferenc? My god, Lorenz was blackmailing Ferenc to get him to perform some kind of occult ritual. It's written in German, isn't it? No wonder Ferenc was so unsettled when Lorenz arrived. The Baron could have gotten him executed for witchcraft. So maybe Ferenc has a motive to kill the Baron. Did I just take that with me? I, don't, I didn't know I had like an inventory or anything. Uh, it doesn't look like I can go up that way. Okay, let's just uh, head, head out then. I feel like, who are you again? Oh, Klaus. I think I've seen him before. <laughs> Why is it upside down? Uh, right, what was the voice saying? I just can't remember what voice he gave him. Good day, Andreas. Back from the Abbey already? It's only new. It's only new. Andreas, are you alright? Mm, uh, probably not a good idea to tell him about this. Um, Let's sure go with her. Uh, I'm fine, don't worry about it. I don't believe you. Come inside, sit down. Uh, let's go. Yes, this has been a difficult day. I could use a distraction. I just have just the thing then. I like your opinion on my latest project. Is he a carpenter? Marie? Okay. Just wait for that to uh, miss that uh, changes round again. Good day, Andreas. Should I fix your plate? Um, let's go with them. Um, I'm always glad to eat your cooking, Marie. Oh my, Klaus, you must invite Andreas over more often so I can hear someone compliment my food. Eh, your cooking is lovely, darling. Berthold, hello. Hello, Berthold. How are you? Sleepy. Come back to my workshop. Yeah, he's like a carpenter or something, isn't he? Oh, that's what he does. Yeah, he does like wood, like carvings of like stories, doesn't he? I'm going to do a new run of Till, Yule and Spiegel. There was a printing a few years ago in Strasbourg, but it was awful. Almost bereft of illustrations. What do you think of these new ones? The 
Let's go with this. They look wonderful. Excellent work. Thank you. I'll be sure to let Marie know. Are these her woodcuts? They are. The drawings were mine, but she did the block cuts. I've got enough time to draw the designs, but only she could do the woodcuts and the type. Bless us, O oh Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. That, that kid Bertold there, like, being a, a mischievous smile he's got. I'm hungry. Amen. Andreas, what were the bells for at the Abbey? They were sounding for a long time. Don't... You probably shouldn't be saying this, Andreas. The visiting nobleman, Lorenz Rothvogel, was found murdered in the chapter house. God in heaven! He just rode by here yesterday. Yes, and it gets worse. One of the elderly brothers I work with in the scriptorium, Piero, was accused of the crime. That's awful! A murder in Kiersau? How could a monk do such a thing? I'm sorry, Andreas. The Baron seemed like an interesting man, and I know he's been a patron of the Abbey for years. How did he die? Could it have been an accident? And does the Abbot really believe that Brother Piero killed him? You've always spoken of him in the kindest terms. It se yeah, it seemed like Lorenz had been stabbed, but I don't know. There was lots of blood around him. But no, I can't believe Piero did it. I can't imagine him harming anyone. Stabbed? It's hard for me to imagine a monk doing that as well. But who knows? Oh, but could it have been one of the sisters? But if it wasn't Brother Piero, who do you think could have done it? I did see Lucky Steinauer getting into a shouting argument with Lorenz late yesterday, just before I walked by your place. Lucky? Why would he have cause to shout at a nobleman? Okay, what we're going to eat this time? Farmer's bread, some sausage, egg pasta. Nothing that's it. Okay, let's have the bread. There's probably something else going on that you wouldn't know about, dear. What do you mean by that? I'm not one to trade gossip, but if you really want to know, talk to some of the other women in town. Oh yes, about the other, about the barons and misbehaving, isn't isn't it? It's probably it. Or Mother Cecilia up at the Abbey. Let's go with this one. I spoke with Mother Cecilia already. Her resolve to protect the sisters is... unrelenting. Yes, I would imagine so. Well, there's no need for that. Lucky is a forthright man. I'm sure if you ask him, he'll tell you what the argument was about. Thank you both. That's good advice. There's something else, though. When Lorenz and I were walking through the meadow, the widow, Kerpe the widow Kemperian came out of the woods and... Oh yeah, it was her. She she cursed the Baron, didn't she? Yes. Well, she cursed him. I'm not surprised. Ottilia's late husband, Ronig, ran afoul of Lorenz on his last visit to Tassing. Oh, so that was that was the guy he beat up. I don't remember the details, but Ranig died last just last year. Ottilia hasn't been the same since. Yeah, so that was the person who he beat, who he beat didn't, isn't it? Let's have some sausage. She was always an old bitch, even before she was old. Klaus, that's enough. She's had to deal with her jobs a lot in life. And now she lives all alone at the edge of the woods. There are rumours she's going to lose her property soon. I do pity her, even if she is a... <laughs> the glare. Bitter woman. <laughs> there should be some exception in the law for her to inherit. Uh, yes, go with this one, yeah. Women are not legally barred from inheriting. It all depends on the details of the lease. Did she come from a wealthy family? She did, in fact. Wealthier than Ranig's, anyway. 
If the land they lived on was part of her dowry, she might make she may make a case to lay claim to it or a property of equal value. Well, well. Are you a lawyer, Andreas? Enough about Ottilia. Is there anyone else you think might have done it? I don't know if he has actually he has any ill intent, but Prior Ferenc has been acting strangely since the day Lorenz arrived. Perhaps an academic disagreement? I know they're both avid readers, both of classics and new works. On his last visit, the Baron bought a book and of astronomy from me. I know the Prior has some similar interests. Would the Prior kill someone over a simple disagreement? It's not that out. It's not that outlandish. When I was in university, I saw men throw punches over small academic concerns. What is an opinion for some is a testament of faith for others, and worth killing for. That may be so, but I've never seen that sort of anger in Prior Ferenc, not even when Gurnot was made abbot instead of him. Afterwards, he seemed bitter, but never violent. That just doesn't seem to be part of his character. So, Lucky, the Widow, and the Abbey Prior. Anyone else? There's Martin. I've not brought up Martin, though. There was something strange when we approached the Abbey together. Mother Cecilia was outside with some of the sisters. Mother Cecilia scowled and took the nuns inside without saying a word. Sounds like they have a history, at least. Let's go and have the pasta. I do not know Mother Cecilia personally, but I have never heard anyone speak badly of her. If she had cause to dislike the Baron, I must believe she had good reason. Well, Andreas, it sounds like there's a lot to look into. Thank you for talking to me. I was feeling overwhelmed. You are always welcome here, Andreas. Any time. Yeah! I mean, I forgot about him, I forgot about the child. You're especially welcome with this one. God be with you, Andreas. Thank you, God be with you. It's known, so I'm guessing I need to head back to, uh, back to the Priory to talk to uh, Florian. I have several leads to follow, but where should I start? I could talk to Lucky Steinhauer. He's probably working in front of his house. The widow Kemperian lives south of here, near Franz Bauer. Okay, that's that person. Prior Ferenc is usually at the scriptorium, but I won't be able to talk to him until tomorrow. Still, nothing would prevent me from talking to Mother Cecilia in the coven in the convent. But if I don't attend Brother Florian's examination of the body at the Abbey, he'll have to do it without me. So, four suspects. Let's show a quick look. Oh, I've got loads of things here, so let's have a look. Yes, I've got occult hands. I found... Uh, sorry, let's have a quick look at this. Prior Ferenc has been acting strangely since the Baron arrived. I should talk to him to find out if there's something going on between them. He's usually in the scriptorium, the abbot's house, or the prior's house. I need to figure out the meaning of the cipher Ferenc wrote in the scriptorium. He used a Volvel while writing it and took it with him. He can't keep it in his robes all the time, can he? I found a letter in the Baron's belongings. It was from Prior Ferenc. In it, Ferenc said he would not perform a ritual for the Baron, even if the Baron threatened to turn him, him into Inquisitors in Innsbruck. In Ferenc's house, I discovered the Volvel he was holding when he deciphered the manuscript. I can use this to figure out the cipher he left. I can't figure out the connection between the ast astrological signs and the elements are, and the elements are in Ferenc's cipher. I can find a way into the library after dark, I may be able to find a book to help me. Failing that, I can always inquire with that the town doctor, Werner Stoltz, on the north side of the town. I'm wondering, am I ever going to be able to do all these, or am I just going to have to choose one because of my limited time? It's the Archdeacon's investigation. The Baron's man, Miklaus, has departed for Innsbruck to request the presence of the most reverend Jacob, e Jacob Essler, Archdeacon of Freising. He'll be gathering evidence about the murder and interrogating those of us who might have information. I should talk with Lockie to find out what he was arguing about with the Baron. He's usually working next to his house north of the town commons. Ottilia Kemperin cursed the Baron when we were talking through the meadow. 
I need to find out why she hates him so much. The widow's house is next to Franz Bowers. We've got the Baron and the Nun. Mother Cecilia reacted poorly to the Baron's appearance at the Abbey. Could she have something to do with his murder? I should find out what their history is. She's usually in the Prioress's house in the convent. After talking to Mother Cecilia, it seems unlikely that she would have killed the Baron. Even so, she may be protecting someone else. She said that the Baron hurt one of the sisters years ago. There may be records of her in the library. I need to search the library to find out if there are any records on the nun whom Baron Rothfogel harmed. I would have to sneak in after the nuns have left for the day as compline. I just need to find a way in. I was able to find an entrance to the library through the crypts beneath the abbey. A false relief opened a door that revealed a stairway leading up to the floor of the library. Now I just have to go inside after the nuns have left. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm just thinking, do I need to like make a decision about which ones I can do, or can I do all of them? Um, right, maybe I should go and see Lucky first. Let's see what's going go there. Oh yeah, it's got the magnifying glasses now on there, so it shows me that I can, where I need to go for my leads. Yeah, I'm guessing Lucky's in front of that house there, so maybe if I go and see him now. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Tries to go around the other way. No, I've come the wrong way. Uh, let's go uh, go this way. There he is. Alright, Lucky. Hello, Andreas. Something something you need. How are you doing, Lucky? We don't talk much. Andreas, I have things to do. Father Thomas needs me to help out at the church. After that, I'm going fishing with old Otto. So that's old Otto, so there's Otto and the old Otto, okay. So if you don't need me to repair a wall or a fallen chimney, then leave me be. I can see you're busy, so I'll keep it brief. I hope to ask you a few questions about Baron Rothfogel. No. No, but it will only take a moment. Ask your questions of someone else. I saw you shouting at the Baron when he arrived in Tassing. What was that about? Get it through your pebble-stuffed head. I'm not talking about Baron, about Rothvogel. Maybe you should have revealed he's dead then, should I? Um, a man, yeah, it's got a man is dead, Lucky, and another's life hangs in the balance. Christ compels us to speak honestly, neighbour to neighbour. God damn it, Andreas. I told you to leave me be. Christ has nothing to do with it. Um, let's have a look. Lucky already told me he didn't want to talk about Lorenz. But it's clear they argued over something important, or Lucky wouldn't be so hostile. Lucky is known to be an honest man. Maybe I can push him just a little more. Yeah, he's definitely not going to take kindly to that. <laughs> Say alright, I won't press you. Good day, Andreas. He was not being forthright with me, and he seems eager to get away. If I wait here, maybe he'll leave and I can observe his actions. But should I do it now? It will probably take a while. I'll observe Lucky later, yes. Let's do that later. So far, I can follow him later, okay? Let's just quickly check that. I spoke with Lucky and he was evasive about his relationship with the Baron. I should follow him to see if I can learn anything more. Uh, let's go and talk to uh, the Widow then. Let's see where is she at. Yeah, do I need to go through the forest or something? Let's, um... No, I can go right then down, I think. So, go east. I'll take a south here. Yeah, here we are. This is where she lives. It's locked. That's uh, Franz, is it Franz, isn't it? Yep. Hey, Mela. You see my son? Is that Martin? Yes. I saw him running from the Abbey this morning, actually. That fucking rat. That layabout was asleep when I went into the fields. He told his mother he was sick. He says anything, he say anything to you? Like where he was going? 
He told me to eat shit, actually. God damn it, how many times have I told him? Grrr. Must be his mother's influence. He sure as shit didn't learn that behaviour from me. If you see him again, will you tell Cat? That is wife. She's driving me crazy about it. I'll let Cat know if I run into him. Good. Until later, Mailer. Until then. So he's Martin Sir Father then, okay? So I'm guessing uh, she, the widow lives down here, is that right? And what's this here? Hmm, these wood carvings are quite curious. Okay, nothing more to say there. So yeah, Ottilia's home. Is she about? Ottilia, okay. Well, if it isn't the Rotten Baron's new best friend. Afternoon, I'm glad to find you in such a good mood. Ha! City boy, I think you're so clever. What do you want? You must be bothering me for something. I wanted to ask you some questions. Uh, should I ask about that? Um, we've never really talked. I thought it's... No, no, she's going to see through that, isn't she? I wanted to ask you some questions about Lorenz Rothvogel's murder. Oh, is that what all those bells were for? My, what a blessing. Not the first time Perkster answered my call. Who's Perkster again? Let's quickly check. Hey, goddess of the elves, okay. You want to know what I think? I'm glad he's dead. I hope whoever killed him gets the abbot next. Maybe burns that entire abbey to the ground. And that's all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, somehow I don't think she's really going to care about uh, about uh, some of the uh, someone who's uh, about one of the brothers being uh, being you know in trouble. What's the Baron do to earn your ire? What did I just tell you, boy? I don't have anything else to say on the matter. The life of an innocent man is at stake. One of the elderly brothers. Can't you spare me a few minutes? I don't think she's going to care, to be honest. You think I care about what happens to some old monk? Ha! <laughs> idiot. Kill them all, see if I care. Every agent of the church should die. Where is this anger coming from? Is it something I can help with? No! Well, maybe. Don't suppose those skinny arms of yours can hold more than a paintbrush? Um, yes. Yeah, so, is she asking me to do her chores? Or I just ask this one. I'm not so strong as Otto, but I can lift things and reach high places if that's what you need. Not often someone offers to help out old Ottilia. Fine. You do some things for me, maybe it'll jog my memory. But it's going to take a while. Lots of things have been building up. Things I'm too old to do. You got some place to be? Um, yeah, so this is interesting. I, I think it is going to be a case where I need to try and maybe, like, decide what I need to do. Um, I'll say I'll, say I'll, I'll be back, back later to help. Sure you will. That's what they always say. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Yeah, so I'm guessing maybe I need to try and just choose one of these and then stick with it or something. Ottilia, Kemperi and Curse the Baron when we were talk walking through the meadow. I need to find out why she hates him so much. The Widow's house is next to Franz Bowers. Uh, talk to Widow Kemperi about Lorenz Grothvogel. Well, I tried to, but she only wants to say that she was glad he died and hoped the abbot was next. I won't be able to get any more information out of her unless I help her around the house, it seems. So the thing is, I can't really do the occult hands or the Baron and the Nun until, um, until like, night time when, all, when the nuns have left. So, I guess the only other thing I can do is, uh, is to go and see Flory and help with the investigation, maybe? I'm guessing maybe I can only do one of those things. Okay, um, I think I'm actually probably going to stop here, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably make a decision of what I'm going to do next time. So, at the moment, I think it looks like I can only really do three things, because, uh, with the, like I say, with the sister and the, uh, with Mother Cecilia and with, um, with the prior Ferenc, I have to wait until night time so I can sneak into the library.
So I think in the meantime, I can either go and see Florian with his investigation, follow Lockheed to see where he's going, or speak to Tilly, like help out Tilly with the chores so she can help me out, give, so she can give me the information. So yeah, I guess, okay, so it really looks like things are starting to move forward now, and I'm actually having to make some really like, important decisions, I think, I'm guessing. Or maybe I can actually do all three of them, and then I can actually you know, move on and do some, move on later, and then go to the, go into the library at night. Maybe I can do all three of them, but I think I'm probably going to say that until next time, because I feel like this is a good place to stop here. But yeah, this is definitely starting to get interesting now, I'm really looking forward to see where I go from here. And if you like this video, then please, please give it a like if you're not already subscribed. It really does help me out to make my channel known. If you want to see more content like this, like more Pentiment, or if you have any suggestions what other games should play in the future, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, folks, bye.